Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video and in today's video I want to show you how the morph transition can be used to give you this really smooth unveiling timeline effect. So uh, if you've never been there before, this is Zion National Park in Utah. It's a gorgeous place. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about Zion National Park over a timeline. And uh, as you can see, I've gone black and white with this image, but you could just as easily want color. So how about we make the color photograph unveil itself as we talk about different stages in the timeline? So first you notice here I've got the timeline streaking across and then I've got my uh, first dot coming onto the screen. You see that right there how the dot came on at the same pacing that the color on the left side of the photo unveiled itself? Now watch as the next step happens Again, the photo continues to unveil itself and the dots continue to slide across. And then we unveil these little bits of text along the way. And then finally, the picture continues to unveil itself all the way to the end. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how I made this happen. So I'm going to start uh, with this photo instead. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this slide and put it here at the end and I'll go to my slideshow tab and unhide the slide. So the beginning part of the effect is very straightforward. You take a, a big beautiful picture like this one, you click on that picture and you duplicate it using Control D on the keyboard, and then you just make sure that they line up with one another, right? So you can, there you go. So they, they're lined up now perfectly, and what you want is for the one on top to be different from the, the one that's being unveiled in some way. Now, I went black and white with my uh, example, and I'm going to do the same thing here, but this is where you can get creative if you like. Go up to your Format tab for your Picture Tools, and really the effect that you decide to use is not really that important. I'm gonna go black and white with this, but you could just as easily colorize it, you could just as easily go sketch with it, etc. So now you can see there is a black and white version of this picture on top of a color version of this picture. And what we're going to do is we're going to describe the timeline of Yosemite National Park over the top of this photo. So once again here, I'm going to go to my insert tab at the top of the screen and just add a nice simple rectangle that's going to go across the full width. And I'll just make this white and then line that up in the dead center of my slide. Next up, what you saw in my example was that I had multiple dots sliding across, but they were stacked on top of one another. Uh, you can see that here. On slide number four, you see I've made a little pile of dots over here on the left. Then on slide number five, they're all on top of the photo, and then they continue to slide out one after another after another. So what we're going to do here to prepare is this first slide, we are going to put a set of dots over on the left. So I'll go to my Insert tab, and of course you could use any shape you want here, but I'm going to go with uh, little circles. Again, filled with white. I'll just put that over there on the left. Looks like I've actually got my picture off center here. There we go. It's not going to be nearly as convincing if the pictures don't line up with one another. Okay, so I've got my uh, dot over here on the side. I'm just going to use Control D for as many times as I want to use this thing. So maybe I'll put on four dots. So I've duplicated it twice. I'll duplicate it one more time. There we go. And I'll begin this slide by this strip right here sliding onto the screen. So I'll go to my Animations tab. I will have it fly in, and I'll have it fly in from the left. Zip, just like that. Perfect. 
Okay, so now I duplicate this slide, Control D, and I don't need the line to come on anymore, so I'll click on it and take the um, transition or the animation off of that. Okay, so when we arrive on this slide, what we want is for the dots to all slide into the first location. The secret to the dot thing for me was that all four dots can, remained completely overlapping on top of one another. So I'll slide this first one on right about here, and then I'll just put the other three right smack dab on top without any weirdness. There we go. And that way when they all come on the screen, they'll all come on at the same pace and land in the same location. And then I'll also go to my insert tab up here at the top of the screen and add a text box. Okay, so I'll put in here that in uh, 1855 we had our first tourists. And then from here we can just sort of add a little bit of uh, cosmetics. So I'll go ahead and fill this with a sort of semi-transparent black. Here we go. It's so maybe 50% transparent. There we go. And the text on it will be brilliant white there. Perfect. This will come in, uh, if I click onto the text box here, I've got this uh, animation type under entrance effects called peak. Let's find peak in. There we go. Click OK, and then I'll just have that come from the top. Now, I don't want this to sort of hesitate, so I'll go to my start, and I'll have this come in after the previous, and maybe only take a quarter of a second. Okay, so that part of things is fine. Here's the most important part. When I click on the picture, I'm going to go to my picture tools up at the top, click on Format, and I'm going to choose to crop this picture. Just click the Crop button, and then slide that in until it just about lines up with where the dot is, just about there. Deselect the crop button. But at this point, there's nothing that has made the dot slide, nor is there anything that's made the crop slide. This is the secret. We click on the slide number 10, we go up here to the Transitions tab, and on the Transitions tab, we tell it to morph. And you see that right there? It slides in. Now it's sliding in a little too slowly, so I'll go ahead and reduce this down to one second of slide time. But now at this point, all I have to do is duplicate that effect. So go to slide number 10, Control D to duplicate. At this point, I don't need my text box to come in anymore, but we'll take care of that in just a second. All right, so I'll take this first dot, slide it over a bit, right about here perhaps, but I'll make sure that three of these dots all line up with one another, leaving that one behind right there. Perfect. I will take the text box and duplicate the text box, and maybe I'll put this one above, like so. And uh, let's see, this is 1864 was the Yosemite Act. Yosemite Grant, excuse me. Now this animation needs to come in, the tr animation on this needs to come in not from top down, but from bottom up, just like so. But I can go over here to the original text box and this doesn't need to come in anymore, so I'll choose none. And then click on to the photograph, the black and white photograph, and again, crop it a little farther. There we go. Deselect crop, and we're cruising right along. Once again, go to slide number 11, duplicate it. I'll move the dots over to right about here, maybe. Move the second dot over so it's laying right on top of it. I'll take the text box, duplicate the text box, and slide it over here. And let's say in, uh, let's see, something happened in 1906, I think. All right, once again, 
the animations have it coming in from the top. Go back to the original text box and remove the animation. Click on the image, crop it down. And we'll just do this one more time. Again, duplicate slide number 12. Slide the dot over. Duplicate the text box, control D. Nineteen sixteen, the National Park Service was founded. Again, the animation on this needs to be from the bottom going up. The animation on the nineteen oh six text box needs to go away, and I need to crop this image down a little farther. Zoop. And maybe I'll go just one step further. I will duplicate slide number 13 simply so that I can, I'll take the uh, picture here, crop that down to absolutely nothing so it's completely colorized. And uh, make sure to take the animation off of the text box at this point. And let's see whether that works or not. So I'll go back to slide number nine, start up the presentation using Shift F5. All right, so it's just black and white. Nothing's on the slide at all except for the picture of Half Dome. I hit the right arrow. The timeline slides into place. That was just a little entrance animation, no big deal. I hit the right arrow again, and as you can see here, the picture begins to crop just a little bit. The first dot slides in and the text box drops down. I hit the right arrow again. The, sl uh, the little dot slides across, the image gets cropped down, the text box pops up. Slide across pop down, slide across, pop up, and slide across for completion. And that is how that works.